It really is all here this time and we've even got some more leaks of official sales materials from the Galaxy S20 phones. So with that in mind, I wanna go through the top 10 features that we know about and Samsung are focusing on in the Galaxy S20 phones. No huge changes except for moving of the front selfie camera to the middle. Moving to less of a curved screen in these phones is also an interesting move from Samsung. They are really the brand synonymous with bringing curved screens to the mass market. And now they're going away from a curve and more into a 3D glass design on the sides. A good move in my opinion. I don't think too many people are buying these phones specifically for the curve. They are however keeping the design language of Galaxy S phones. It's more rounded than we get in the Note series. AK Video is a huge feature of this series. It's going to be the first real mainstream branded phones to actually give us 8K video recording. I'm not massively excited about 8K. I'm not a big lover of resolution just for the sake of it. It's gonna take up so much memory. It's gonna take up so much battery life too. There may even be a recording limit in 8K. I'm not super pumped for it, but these are flagship phones and it's amazing what we can do with technology, 8K video recording out of a smartphone. That also goes for the front camera, which is 4K 60 frames a second. Again, I'm not massively pumped about the resolution. 60 frames a second is a good spec though. I'm sure Samsung will be offering us a slow fee type of feature that we get in the iPhone for the Galaxy S20 phones this time. Something I'm actually really pumped about more than resolution is the brand new 12 megapixel camera sensors on the S20 and S20 Plus. According to the leaks, these are new sensors, bigger sensors, 1.8 micron pixel sizes, which is bigger than before, which means more light, more data capture, more color information, information and hopefully just better images overall. It is literally like nothing we've ever seen before. Xiaomi released their version which Samsung did make for them a few months ago and they're using their version also in the Mi 10 series but this one is different again. With this camera sensor, you can shoot in high megapixel mode and HDR together, according to leaks anyway. It uses nine to one pixel binning, so it will be taking 12 megapixel images, but 108 megapixels is just a crazy insane spec. We don't really see this anywhere else in the industry, except for the sensors that they actually made for Xiaomi. What I'm interested in is, are we as consumers, are we gonna start shooting these crazy high resolution images, or is no one really gonna care about it and we're just gonna use the 12 megapixel mode 99% of the time. The use of new secondary camera sensors in all of the phones is, again, a really unique aspect that Samsung are going for. According to leaks anyway, Samsung are using a secondary main lens. It's not exactly a zoom lens. The image sensors underneath that secondary lens have very high megapixel counts and high resolutions, which means that Samsung can crop into the sensors to achieve a longer zoom range. Samsung will also use those secondary cameras for 4K video recording, at least in the S20 and S20 Plus. It's a totally different approach, and I guess it gives way more functionality overall. 100 times space zoom, another crazy spec saved for the Galaxy S20 Ultra. They're using the periscope style zoom camera plus digital zoom to achieve this insane zoom range that we've never seen before. My experience with periscope zoom cameras is they are absolutely amazing. It is true optical zoom and they just shoot really great images. Not to mention that Samsung are putting a high megapixel camera sensor under that periscope zoom in the S20 Ultra. So you're gonna be able to zoom in even further and without losing too much detail. I would assume though that once it gets past about 20 or 30, it's gonna start being quite noticeable. And I'm assuming 100X zoom, although a very cool feature, the fact that it can even do that, I'm sure it's gonna be pretty blurry. Single take photo where you can record video for 10 seconds and it will automatically take Take some photos and give you some options to choose from and something Samsung called ultra bright night which we guess is just an upgrade to the low light capabilities of the phone with bigger sensors and bigger pixels and also the ISP in the new Snapdragon 865 we should get much better image processing much better low light capability let's see how it compares to for example the Note 10 or the S10 phones 120 Hertz it has to be said a brilliant spec, no one is going to dislike this. It is going to be an awesome spec for the phone and change the way the phone feels probably more than anything else. Even mid-range and budget chipsets can flick through screens and open apps really quickly these days. So this 120 Hertz feature is gonna be really great. From what we know, there's no 90 Hertz, so you can either choose 60 or 120 Hertz. 
and apparently according to leaks if you are in 120 hertz you have to turn the resolution down and certainly with games coming through once they're updated it's going to improve the gaming experience considerably not to mention just the screen updates in general i'm really looking forward to just better looking screens better colors that's something that samsung always do and their amoled panels are just so good looking yes it would be nice if they gave us the option but i think we're just moving forward from that into a different era where phones are going to be having fewer ports even the charging port may disappear at some point number 10 is reserved for some of the things that we need to look out for that we're just not going to get by a spec sheet firstly battery charging 25 watt on the s20 and s20 plus 45 watt on the ultra the batteries are bigger the phones are bigger but also they're going to be taking more battery the snapdragon is going to be more power hungry and the screens with the high refresh rate will also drain the battery quicker this fingerprint sensor has had a ton of issues even security issues that samsung had to patch so I'm hoping that they can sort all of this out and it will just be a better option in these phones. And lastly, what is the stereo sound like? We know we are getting stereo sound as looking at the spec sheet, but again, no notch means no front firing speaker. So again, we don't know how rich and immersive that sound will be. Subscribe for the latest tech news and videos. That's it for now, but I'll see you in the next one.